The holidays are here, and on top of all the food, family, and fun, there's also lots and lots of trash. According to the EPA, Americans generate an additional 1 million tons of waste each week of the holidays. You can help cut that down by recycling, but you need to make sure you do it right. Joining me now to talk about this is Brent Bell. He is the Vice President of Recycling Operations at WM. Brent, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. So we are bombarded with wrapping paper, cardboard boxes, bowls, ribbons, all of that over the holidays. So my first question to you is, can they be recycled? Yes, the WM is the largest recycler in North America. During the holiday season, we see a lot of good items and bad items that go in the bin. Keeping recycling simple during the holiday season is important. Cardboard, paper, bottles and cans are all recycled friendly in every curbside program. So what are some of the easy rules of thumb that we all can follow when it comes to recycling? Yeah, when it comes to recycling, especially cardboard boxes, these are great. Just remove, remove all the packaging, the plastics, the foam wrap, take that out of your cardboard boxes. Uh, any type of uh, craft paper bags, these are great gift bags. Uh, if it has too much glitter on there, too much of this, uh, not very recycled friendly. So we like to keep those out. Ribbons, bows, uh, see if you can donate those or reuse those. They don't belong in the recycling bin. What about when it comes to Christmas lights, especially ones that are broken? Can you recycle those? Yeah, we have a lot of Christmas lights this season, right? Whether you're wrapping around your trees or your house, uh, these do not go in the curbside recycling program, uh, along with like extension cords, things that plug in. Uh, we encourage uh, users to take those back to a home retail location center. Oftentimes you can do that at the front of the stores. They'll take those back, but they don't go in the recycling bin. And what are some of the common mistakes you see when it comes to recycling, especially this time of year? Yeah, so when it comes to recycling, we don't want the recyclables to be bags, so don't put them in a bag. Clean, loose, and dry. So make sure the materials are emptied out, the liquids are emptied out of the bottles. Uh, those are all things that we want to make sure they get recycled properly. Propane tanks, these do not belong in the recycling bin. And then believe it or not, we get a lot of these bowling balls in the recycling bin. We do not take recycling bowling balls in the recycling bin. So all these contaminations, we need those kept out. Keep your materials clean and dry and loose. Bowling balls. <laughs> I, I, I never would have thought of uh, people trying to recycle a bowling ball. That's a new one for me. So what happens, though, Brent, when items that aren't supposed to be recycled, like plastic bags or electrical cords, what happens when they end up in the recycling bins? Yeah, when they get the recycling bin, you'll see like a facility we have behind us, one of Waste Management's newest facilities. Uh, those items, when, once they go through the equipment, they'll get tangled up. So like a garden hose, extension cords, it gets tangled up in the equipment, causes downtime. We mentioned the propane tanks, batteries are also another issue. That could cause even fires in these plants. And so we actually make sure consumers know the right items to put in the bin versus the wrong ones so that we don't cause any damage to the, the, uh, the, the employees that work behind me or the, the assets that we have in place here. And Brent, something I'm curious about, and this goes for any time of the year, when you put your items in a recycling bin and then it gets picked up, what happens with those items? Does someone go through them to make sure they actually are recyclable? How does that work? Yeah, so these, we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars at facilities at WM uh, investing in automation. But I'll give you an example of, of one item that goes through there. Everybody's familiar with the water bottle, the common bottle. Once these go through these facilities, we'll have optical scanners sort this material out We'll separate that into a bale of material, and then that bale of material could go to a, a product group here that would turn it back into a new bottle. It could be a product group that turns it back into yarn that would made into a shirt like this. Our frontline uniforms are all made out of plastic, recycled plastic bottles as well. Very interesting stuff there. Brent Bell, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And everyone, remember, do not recycle bowling balls. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And stay with us. We'll be right back.